Hey up everybody. Uh, I'm moving on to the next part at water pump then. Um, I left you last time where I drilled the actual butterfly valve sheet holes etc and the proper casting. This is my mock up casting made out of some oak. I've just got it set up at Miller Machine to do the uh, water inlet and outlet ports. Then I'm going to move on to doing the actual uh, passageways etc to connect everything up and then the restrictor holes need doing. So uh, I'm set up at Milling Machine over there. I'll uh, I'll take you over there and we'll continue with this. I'm now ready for putting these uh, holes in the side, one from each side. While I'm set up for, for doing the inlet and outlet ports, I have to move over to the centre line of the casting, which is three quarter of an inch up from the face. And it, I'm working on the side where the actual valve seat fits. The, the smaller side, the butterfly valve just drops onto the casting. This one has a valve seat inserted and this restrictor then fits into this hole to stop the butterfly valve from dropping out the seat. So on my mock-up casting, uh, this is the shallow side, so on the deep side where the actual valve seat fits, I'm coming in here and what happens is this 5BA restrictor then fits into this hole comes through into the bot very bottom of that hole and it's just to hold the butterfly valve from dropping out the seed one on each side I've got my two 5BA uh, restrictor holes done on the sides. I've set up on the top again now. Um, I've got to go, I've got to drill in through this bore. I'm drilling down this way. I've got to drill 5 30 seconds by 5 8 deep. You don't want to be going no more than 5 8 deep, or she'll end up coming into the actual bore, or the cylinder bore. So that's that's critical, um, and this hole then represents this hole here. That's going to be the connecting hole for the um, cross drilling diagonally from the face. So that's my steam pocket there, which I did earlier on, and it's going to come down at an ang at this angle from that centre line there 
to meet up with this one and then the other one goes in the opposite direction. Then once I've got these drilled, these two holes, uh, this one and this one, I've got to plug them. I'm just about ready to put the passageway in that connects to the bottom of this hole from, from here and it's 5 8 deep into the actual casting it's going to meet that, the bottom of that hole there so that on the drawing it's this one and then it's shown here on this view and then I've got to turn it round and do the exact same thing on the opposite side. I think what's important here is uh, where this pocket I've, I've milled in for the, for the water to come through into the pump. Um, I'm going to put this milling cutter, this slot mill, to give me a flat face to work to for my drill so it don't wander off. Um, where I've done this pocket, the actual slot mill's come in a bit further that way because my hole depth is only five five eighths of an inch. So I will be cutting a bit further back than that pocket, but that don't matter as long as I don't come beyond that where that cover's going to seal everything. That'll be okay. That's it, jobs are good and Come on then, let's have a little bit of an update. Uh, so I've successfully got them uh, angular passageways drilled. They meet up exactly. Um, if anybody's making one of these t dimensions that I'm doing them to on this drawing, if you're sticking to dimensions, I think you might find that the angle that you need is uh, approximately 26 degrees, give or take maybe half a degree and it should work out exactly the same for both sides but to get that angle you must remember you've cut a pocket in well I've done mine a sixteenth deep so you take your line from a sixteenth down on this face to that centre line there so you come down a sixteenth on both sides obviously that's to take into account of that pocket if you do a different size pocket different depth you'll just have to adjust it to suit so uh, onwards and upwards well that's all the uh, work on the actual pump casting just about completed now so I've got quite a bit of detail work to do yet on it I've loosely fitted the valves and the valve seats so this side where the butterfly valve sits into the valve seat here that I can hear them they're working okay with the restrictors in 
In fact, I can see them down that hole before I blank it off. I can see they've got some movement. But this side, uh, let's just take this union out. I've got the valve, the butterfly valve, slotted into the casting because that's where it seats. But the restrictors here, they're going to want some adjustment making. So I've got to make some exact measurements on them because they're bottoming out at that. Uh, I've got to allow for a copper washer on each one. So I've got some careful measuring to do there because they do want they do want some movement to let the water past. Um, I've got these two holes to blank off. I've got all the uh, studs to fit. I've got them ready made here. I made them earlier. Uh, what else is there to do? I've got some gaskets to make. I've got a bit of gasket material here. I think I think we'll do it. So probably got some punches to make for sizes for gaskets. And then once I've got all that detail work done, uh, we can probably have a trial run at assembling it. I think I'll do that in next part then. So uh, if you've uh, if you found that useful, interesting, etc., etc., give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.